If ever there was any doubt about the federal government's determination to cater to the medical needs of Nigerians and provide a modern facility for enhanced medical delivery, the National Hospital Abuja stands as justification and an eloquent testimony to the good intentions of the Muhammadu Buhari administration. You don't hear of missing case notes again because your records are on our server. Originally established in 1999 as National Hospital for Women and Children, the institution has today grown into a referral center of global significance. The National Hospital was originally set up as a women and children hospital in 1999. It started around September of 1999 and uh, as a 200-bed hospital. But this site, this uh, location was originally meant, meant for a city central referral hospital, being the only tertiary hospital in the master plan at the core city center, the federal capital city of Abuja. So eventually the mandate was reversed back to its, the original mandate, which is as a referral hospital. So, and it was renamed the National Hospital. So, uh, because within six months of his operation, uh, men joined the women and children and uh, that it was too good to be left alone for men, women and children. So, but you couldn't say no to somebody who was sick. And so the government said, rightly, that we should go back to our mandate and went back to our original mandate, which is as a core referral hospital for the federal capital territory. Then later, it was, it was uh, supposed to serve as a referral hospital for some sort of specialty for the whole sub-region of West Africa. From 1999, when it was established till date, the National Hospital has grown in leaps and bounds and is internationally recognized for its excellent provision of specialized medical services. We have super specialist services in many areas and uh, we, we are an APS referral uh, hospital in many areas. One of such areas is cancer care uh, cancer care, uh, we have the state-of-the-art equipment in cancer care uh, for taking care of uh, those who have uh, cancer. And also reproductive medicine, uh, the popular test tube baby, we have been known for in vitro fertilization test tube baby for the past 14 years, continuously unbroken. Uh, we are the longest running government hospital, you know, in terms of uh, IVF. Yeah, and uh, several women have delivered uh, hundreds of babies under that program. And uh, it's, it's much, much cheaper than doing it outside. So it's still, it's still uh, for trauma care, you know, in terms of uh, those who have accidents and injuries, you know, you see the trauma center, which was built 2011, 20, uh, 2012, and commissioned in 2014, um, is, is actually a, 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 the best center in the whole of West Africa and is the only center that trains postgraduate uh, doctors on trauma in the whole of the West African sub-region. A chief consultant, chemical pathologist and head of the facility, Dr. Momo says the process of computerizing the National Hospital is nearing completion and he foresees a very bright future for a national hospital with more efficient services to patients and training for doctors and others involved in the task of healthcare delivery. The national Hospital is renowned now for, for postgraduate training of, of uh, doctors and nurses. In, for nurses in, in oncology, which is uh, cancer care, we have a postgraduate training program for nurses. And it is one of the very few in West Africa. So you are a general nurse, you want to train on how to take care of cancer patients. You come here for one year, you get trained and you get certified. And it's, the program is now officially recognized and accredited by the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. And it's the first of such program to be recognized. And then we have uh, training in nephrology for nurses as well, post-basic nursing in kidney care. 
you know, for patients who have kidney failure, who have to undergo dialysis and so on, they, there is a special way to take care of them. And nurses need to be trained in this area who want to work in those areas. So we have a postgraduate program one year as well. So these are well-established programs for the last 10 years, and they have now formally in the last two years obtained accreditation and certification from the Nursing and Midwifery Council. And for, for doctors' training, we have postgraduate training in all the departments, you know, recognized by the West African College of Physicians, West African College of Surgeons, National Postgraduate Medical College. You know, so across all the specialties in surgery, medicine, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, pathology, all the four departments in pathology, and the other subspecialties such as neurosurgery and so on and so forth. Not long ago, the hospital embarked on a free medical service to the Kuchiguru community, a suburb in the Federal Capital Territory. Similarly, when an indigent family came along with conjoined twins, Dr. Momo and his management organized a formidable team of doctors from diverse backgrounds to embark on a groundbreaking surgical procedure that successfully separated the two girls, goodness and mercy, who were partially joined from the chest and abdomen, affecting such sensitive organs as the liver, diaphragm, and the covering of the heart. They were referred to us from a, a med federal medical center, Kefi, we do within a week of their birth, and uh, quite ill, and uh, also very indigent. And so uh, he, he, they first came to my attention within 48 hours of admission because of the matter of indigency. So when it came to me that we have a very indigent patient, the, the father is a painter, you know, petty, you know, worker, you know, depends on daily uh, patronage. And the, the mother is doing nothing and they don't have the money to even sustain their care in the neonatal intensive care unit. Then I had to sign on their case note to please go ahead and provide everything necessary to sustain these lives and get all the specialists to review. So the, the neonatologist uh, invited the pediatric surgeon as well to review. And then we started investigations. You have to invite the pathologist, the radiologist, and they did all sorts of investigations to confirm where they were joined, whether it was possible to operate them and separate them. And uh, meanwhile, you were attending to the other illnesses that you had noticed to get them well and then eventually get them strong for this surgery. So they were with us for uh, about eight months before we eventually contemplated this surgery. During that eight months on admission, we had to care for them, provide even some basic things for them for their upkeep. So a lot of money was spent taking care of them. Eventually when the surgery was planned, we put together a multidisciplinary team, consulted our colleagues in one or two other hospitals and uh, uh, the lead surgeon was a pediatric surgeon here, a uh, professor of pediatric surgery who led the team of uh, cardiothoracic surgeon, pediatric surgeons, uh, and uh, anesthetists, you know, a lot of people, nurses, doctors, uh, pharmacists, and so on, laboratory scientists came together to form a team. And then we had a WhatsApp group where we were always discussing with management and the management of the cases and, and the, of this two uh, children. So eventually they were separated. You know, by the time we put the bills together, we, of all we have spent in that one year, uh, it's, it's over 20 million naira. Though the operation and subsequent rehabilitation of the family were done at a huge cost to the hospital, Dr. Jaff Momo and his team are happy that they rendered service to humanity in keeping with the federal government's dream of a Nigeria where no citizen is denied medical care on account of their financial status. The federal government and federal government hospital ministry of health, uh, you know, is doing a lot in respect of treating indigent Nigerians. Without federal government hospitals, there would have been a problem. Even at the state level, most of the indigent patients are being handled by the teaching hospitals and the federal medical centers in those hospitals. Mm -hmm.